Hello. Okay. Nice to meet you. That's closer to what you would want it to be. You know how there's not a gap right there. Kind of butts right up to it. Sit like that. And then I want it a little bit further, so I'm gonna turn swing off. Yeah. It's lined okay, I think. And I'll run it just a hair. Yeah. Um, so I could just jog it a little bit forward rather than lifting it up and resetting. I had it set pretty good, but I needed it to go further in. Yeah, that looks okay. So I grab it like this and get it to pop up like that. Oop. Whoops. So I like that. Swing is on. I'm going to pop that up. See, that one just went through perfect. I didn't have to do anything. So, I don't, sometimes you do have to do a twist to try to get it to fold over, but that one worked pretty good. So what we're looking at here is that our nozzle swings in this gap and comes out this slot right here. But right now we have a little tab here of that bottom piece not welded all the way down, which could cause, this is going to be hard to see, but the nozzle to come in and get stuck underneath that flap or burn through it or weld it over like that. So I'm just going to throw it in here and try to tack that down a little bit. It's kind of difficult, but that's when I'll do something like this and you might grab an Allen. And it's really just to kind of melt that down so you can't get that up. What did the Allen wrench do? Uh, I just kind of put it there to lift up the flap. Um, I, that's a bad habit to get into, but because sometimes it could get sucked in, and um, but it's people do it. So right now, as I pull tight, you can see how this is loose and kind of puckers up. That means that when we get down to this point, we're going to have a leak point, all this extra material right here. So what I do to combat that is, you know, it's going to be a feeling. Uh, and, uh, just You're going to have to take a guess on how much you think you need to pull it. So I think, to me, this looks like I need to go up to 102, basically. So I'm going to go into the welding functions, go up to upper weld roller, and I'm actually going to go 103 and click enter. So that's going to make this wheel run faster, pull out, pulling out the slack right there. I see what's happening. And see that? See how much nicer and not as flimsy? It's nice and taut right now. I'm still going to keep it at that setting. I might drop it a little bit, but now it's not sticking up there. We can easily exit without pulling any access material through. Do you understand that, what I did right there? I just made that go a little bit faster so it's smoothing that out. 